keeps attacking me. Right. Isn't that stunning? It's a big female mantid. It's a good thing I'm not a male mantid. Look at those beautiful little spots on the inside of her, her arm. And I mean, you can see those. I'm going to try to turn her sideways a little bit. You can see those impressive, impressive sort of daggers uh, on her arms that she uses to impale her prey uh, and, and her mate. Isn't that amazing? Now, on certain mountain species, I've been actually had blood drawn when I've tried to catch them or move them out of my tent um, when I was living in the Gabonese rainforest. But those mantids um, were literally bigger than my hand. All those things are impressive. Now, imagine that on a large scale. We wouldn't stand a chance. And I also love their eyes. Let's have a... Oh, she's very much focused on me. And you can see how that yellow stripe that runs from her face actually runs right into the eye as well and I'm just trying I'm going to see if she'll let me I'm going to turn it like this around her so we can see if we can just see her mouth part I know she's not going to let me it's okay um, I'm just trying to see if we can see her mouth parts let me see if I can get it onto this single finger and see if I can just hold her upside down for a second doesn't want to let go of my hand and see, she's calmed down a little bit, so she's not attacking me as fiercely as she once was. I'm going to try just do that. Oh, my finger's going to get in the way, isn't it, Chandra? Maybe if I do that. Oh, no. Her head's too low to actually have a look into, into her mandibles. But it is an exquisite creature. Now, the reason I can tell it's a female... Um, now we need to try to swing around to see her. There we go. You can see her back in there. So the males uh, would obviously have a different uh, shaped appendage. Okay.